Hey yo, what's poppin'? Party people, I'm that one dude Chris Miju, and welcome back to the casting of Frank Stone. I have some things that I need to lay out to you guys. Um, I have already seen everything that happens in chapters two through three, and that is because I recorded this already. And then the first half, there's two parts to this, two parts in one video. <laughs> the first half of this got corrupted. And so therefore I lost all of that footage. So from this point up until, you know, where my, where everything changes, like my shirt and my entire knowledge of the game, everything changes. And I'll let you know when that happens. I'm going to try to be as authentic as possible, even though I know everything that's going to happen. As a matter of fact, I'm not going to spoil anything, obviously, but we are going to get through this a lot faster. I had to basically restart the entire game from chapter one and i made all the same decisions i made all the same choices and everything nothing is different except for the fact that sam may have a scar on his hand in present day because of the fact that i messed up on the skill check that i actually got a great skill check on in the first video and then i actually succeeded with that second skill check that i messed up on so it's like uh some things happened but I, yeah, I, I did end up finding the third, um, the third, what is it called? Trinket in chapter three. So that happens. I, a lot happened and I'm actually very upset that I have to redo all of this all over again, but it's an experience. It's all part of being the content creator that I aimed to stop going upstairs, Madison. It's all part of the experience. Huh. A survivor's like theme by M. Okay. So this one right here is actually really cool because it unlocks a secret passage and you'll fuck this is a lot harder than i thought it was gonna be i didn't i obviously didn't want to just scrap the series because of the fact that i had to redo this entire first half of the episode again i am mostly frustrated with the fact that i can no longer share an authentic like first time experience with you guys at least for this video everything else after this every Every video of this game that's going to go up after this is going to be authentic. So there's a business card here. Bruno said forward to doing business with you. Huh. That's today. Bruno Sanford third Esquire business connoisseur behind all good ideas is a plan behind all great ones is a stand. A L looking forward to doing business if you mean what you promise i'm sure this evening will be worth both of our while see you on the 13th and please call me stan p.s got a good number for one of those british black cabs my usual guy is dis indisposed so so to speak all right i think we might not be the only ones here business connoisseur he's a snob about business yuck he gave them the ick. See, the jokes that I made aren't even that funny anymore. It's, it's it doesn't hold the same weight. Miss Lieber, I am writing to confirm that as per instruction, I have asked the staff to take leave and vacate the grounds ahead of your uh, visitors arriving. I recall hearing mention that your visitors are all collectors with a shared interest to yourself. If this is the case, would it not be preferable, even desirable to keep one trusted staff member on the handle, on hand to handle any precious ID items? If required, I recommend myself for this duty. I do not and do not consider it below my station, for I wish to relish the chance to glimpse and handle your precious items in the private reliquary, should it be needed. I am only a short drive away if called upon, and you needn't concern yourself with discretion. In my three years of service as a state manager of Garant Manor, I have proven to be a model of reserve, pro probity, and reliability. I await your responses with keen anticipation, your devoted servant, J.F. Grimes. You would think that my second time reading this note would actually be a lot smoother, but no, I still suck at reading. Hey, I think I figured out why there's no one here. What? Why? I think they must have forgot we were coming and went on a trip or something. Maybe. So there is something that I actually picked up on after finishing the recording that you'll see in the second half. It's something that I actually can't bring up now. Do you play? Um, a little. But I will bring up later on in the game. Hmm. 
<laughs> you see that? It's on fire. It's a survivor's theme from Dead by Daylight. There's actually an achievement for this, but I, I already got it. Uh, yeah. F. You've seen a real secret passage before? It's fairly common for old mansions like these to have concealed corridors. To allow the servants to come and go while being seen as little as possible. F. You got some of these in your house too, huh? Secrecy is a privilege of the rich, stolen from the rights of the oppressed. Okay. A simple yes or no would have been just fine, Linda. But yeah, no, this game has some very interesting and like deep connections and lore and ah, uh, just knowing what I know from like the second and the third chapter is it's insane to see see all this again. Because there's a connection, like I said, there's a connection that I easily made. Um, look at that, the Huntress's doll. Kid must have had a creepy doll on their Christmas list. Yeah, that does actually beg the question of where these dolls are all coming from. Cause like, I highly doubt any kid would want to buy something like this, and they're spread out all across the game, so nobody is actually making these and like leaving them in specific places. I know it's collectibles and all that, and like video games, but make the collectibles make sense. Hello? Anybody home? Ah, ladies. Hello, hello, welcome. Hello. Didn't exactly get explicit directions as to what to do once I got here, so. <laughs> yeah, um, same. I am so sorry. Where are my manners? My name is Stan. And you would be? Maddie. Maddie. Maddie B. Beautiful name. Short for Madeline. Madison, actually. Ah. Middle name Lexington? What? Big town. The Big Apple? The, the city that never sleeps. Home to the most beautiful of women and fiendishly desperate of men. Madison Avenue. Okay, got it. A fitting name for such a lovely lady. Uh, Stan is in short for Stanford because we found the card. Stan, that wouldn't be short for Stanford, would it? <laughs> I see my reputation precedes me. Bruno Stanford the third. That's your beck and call, but only if you call me Stan. Oh, Stan, this is Lynn Da Castle. I am such a huge fan of your work. I, I am. I I'm at a loss for words. I am just humbled by your presence. Uh, okay, sure. Bruno Stanford III, at your beck and call, only to call me Stan. <laughs> Everybody makes Linda so uncomfortable, and it's actually really funny sure. to see. Truly an honor. <laughs> Truly. Uh, so what's going on right now? Uh, well... I think our new friend here is familiar with some of my little oh, movies. Hold on, hold on. Your movies are a lot of things, but they are not little. You're a filmmaker? Uh, yeah. I've made some movies. <laughs> a lot more than some movies, if I may say so. Have you heard of a little film called Buried by the Break of Dawn? Blood Point. Blood Benders. Oh, man, it's, it's such a shame, too. Directions, but death only moves in one. Because I actually made a really um, funny joke no. in the first recording. Sorry. Wait, didn't you two come here together? I'm so upset. Oh, no. I mean, yeah, we drove in together, but only the last couple miles. I had some car trouble. I see. I'm sorry. I thought that you were Miss Castle's assistant. <laughs> nope. Just me. Wait, should I be flattered or insulted by that? I'm going to be oh, insulted. Well, I didn't mean... I'm just flattered you think I have an assistant. I'm sure if you did, she would not be nearly as charming as, as Miss Avenue. Your last name is Avenue? Uh, no, 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 no. What? Did I miss something? Only that we are at a loss at what to do in the absence of our host. Wherever they may be. I guess we should keep looking around. I mean, why not at this point? Maybe our host has left something out for us. <laughs> all right, so what I was gonna say was, what I made a really understand? funny joke. Well, I won't bore you with all the details, but 
It involves money and fast cars and trading. Well, nothing illegal, obviously. Oh, obviously. I made a really funny joke when she said that she was a filmmaker or when uh, Madison asked her about being a filmmaker. I said, filmmaker, and then, and then <laughs> every movie title that he named off, I was like, oh yeah, that definitely sounds like a sex tape. It was, it was stupid, but it was pretty funny in the moment. I just, oh, I'm so upset that I lost all that footage. Uh, the Epic of Gilgamesh. A bit of light bedtime reading. Tablet 5, The Slaying of Humbaba. My friend Humbaba, guardian of the forest, grind up, kill, pulverize, pulverize, question mark, and destroy him before the preeminent god Enlil hears in the gods are full of rage at us. Enlil is in Nippur, Shamash is in Sippar, erect an eternal monument proclaiming how Gilgamesh killed, question mark, Mbaba. They tied together a raft, Enkidju uh, steered it while Gilgamesh held the head of Mbaba. Annotation, read carefully, Norman. Study close with Enkidju. What Enkidju tells Gilgamesh, he saw beyond Mbaba's pleas for clemency. Recognize sparing, the demon would undo our hero's righteously won victory. That only a violent demonstration would stir and watching gods would stir the watching gods. There is no room for mercy in the pursuit of glory. The heavens will not open for a champion that shows restraint. Second time reading that, still have no idea what that means. Huh? Moving murder the mill. Cabinet. Dare you enter choice. the murder mill? Murder. <laughs> Hey, either of you heard of Murder Mill? Holy shinobi. You're kidding, right? No. Not the only one around here who's familiar with it. Wait, this is one of yours? It's one of the first things I ever worked on. Super low budget. We had no idea what we were doing. Should never have seen the light of day. I still wish it hadn't. Why? Well, things tend to get blown out of proportion. I heard it was only screened a few times, and each time the audience flew into a rabid, murderous rage. No, no, come on. Don't try and deny it. The film is legendary. I think people were just bored out of their minds. Look, I'm sure they made you sign all sorts of non-disclosure agreements by... What? Who? The government. When they confiscated and destroyed every existing copy of the film. Oh, give me a break. I heard they kept at least one, just in case. And the CIA's got this secret lab called Leary's Memorial Institute where they use it for enhanced interrogation. How do you know all this? I'm a fan. I'm a fan! And it pays to know this kind of stuff. I expect every single one of you who claim to be a fan of that one dude, Chris, to know every <laughs> little bit of detail about my life. And if you don't, you're not a fan. <laughs> if you haven't seen every single one of my videos, no, I'm kidding. Uh, is that supposed to happen? I don't know, but I am taking the theatrics. <laughs> ah, good. I see you three have wasted no time getting acquainted with Augustine Lieber. I'm so very sorry for the delay in my arrival. There are a great many things that require my attention at the moment, and I would hate to have to deprive you of my full attention while we are together. <clears throat> ah, yes, and speaking of needing attention... Uh, all dried up, are we? We can't have that. After all, you're far too capable of a negotiator when you're sober. And twice that when I'm not. <laughs> Madison. Would you also like a refreshment? Uh, it's just Maddie. Oh, my mistake, Maddie it is. Oh, it's fine. Nonsense. Never be shy about what you call yourself. Your name is who you are. That's important to remember. And who are you? I call myself Augustine Lieber. Nice to meet you, Augustine Lieber. Now that we are properly introduced, I must again offer you a drink. Now, what I did the last time, I said, no, that's okay. Uh, and here's my explanation. Because me, as a person, 
I do not drink. I do not indulge in, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, but I also said that because of like who I think Maddie is as a person, I feel like she she's a bit cautious in this situation. I don't trust Augustine, number one. Uh, and so I'm going to not have a drink because I don't know what she might put in it. I don't know if she is planning to put anything. I just, we're going to say no. Uh, no, that's okay. Just to be safe. Are you sure? It's very good. It can confirm. <laughs> yeah, flying and drinking doesn't agree with me. Thanks, though. You refuse Augustine's offer of a drink. See, because that's a fate changed. So I feel like if it weren't that big of a if a, of a change, a you know, if you want to come here today, what would happen? I hope, despite that, you'll find it'll all be worth the effort. Guess that's up to you now, isn't it? I suppose it is. Well, I'll show you mine. Do you show me yours? Hey, yo. Oh, we're a bit eager. <laughs> Manners, Mr. Stamford. Not all of us are caught up yet. <laughs> Brass tacks, Augustine. I did not come all this way just for drinks. What's in there? Look, I don't know what you two have come to sell her, but I just happen to have one of the most sought after pieces of rare cinematic ephemera to ever hit the market. Huh. Well, that right there is the only surviving segment of film from the original camera shot celluloid of one Murder Mill. The earliest known work of a certain noted Artur, allegedly. Should be worth a small fortune. So I'm told. Hate to burst your bubble. Damn it. There goes its one of a kind value. Not quite. Your turn, Maddie. I. I, I never knew what it was from. Ah, now there's. There's a few things that I, I want to piece together so to badly right now. In person, if I wanted to make it, I will keep the promises I made to you. I just got. I got to wait a, just or a little me. bit longer. What if I don't want to sell? Well, that would be your choice. But after forty years of pain, why would you choose to live with more? I have to apologize again, but there are urgent matters I must attend to in my private reliquary. You're welcome to continue to make yourselves at home until I return. I really think we need to finish discussing all in due course, Ms. Castle. <laughs> this game is so good. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. We were so close. I could feel the entity's force, its power pulsating through the steel mill. Until Sam Green's petty act of bravado ruined everything. The ritual disrupted. My key mangled. Yet Frank Stone didn't die that night. Hey, His what did I say? His was seared into the very foundations of the mill. An endless, agonized nightmare. I had to find the right means to awaken him. You just don't get it, do you? You think we're weak? That we're nothing? You make me sick. <laughs> There's just one thing you bastards will just never understand. You can tie us up. You can torture us. You can put us through every hellish trial you're imaginations can come up with that you'll never defeat our spirit i didn't like how oh i forgot about this i forgot about it <laughs> no 
no, no, no. My sister? Oh, God. All I have to do is betray my own sister, and you will let me go free to fight another day. God damn you! God damn you for forcing me to make this impossible choice! Uh, so I went with I'd rather die than to have them take my sister, and that is because it is a selfless act. Uh, and so, yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna explain myself, I'd rather die! You fail to see what truly makes us human. I'd rather die a thousand miserable deaths than betray someone I love. My answer is no. And there is nothing you can do to change my mind. All right, you alien scum. Do your worst. I can take it. Ah! What is that? What are you doing? <laughs> and cut. How was that? That was amazing. Really? It wasn't like too much? No way. Because I felt like maybe I oversold it a little. You gotta play to the cheap seats, I made. That's where the money. Chris is happy with your acting. Brad. How do we do, Linda? Was that a good one? That's Linda. Uh, it's Linda. Let me check the gate. You can check the gate on these little super eights. Um, no, actually, the lens doesn't come off, so... Somebody just wanted to show off all the fancy new crap they learned from the film production books in the library. I'm just trying to take the craft seriously. The craft! Jeez Louise! <laughs> so, are, are we good, or what? Yeah. I mean, it looked great. How did the blood gag look? Um, well... Linda, you did get... The blood gag, didn't you? I mean, it's really all about how Jaime sells it. I did really sell it. Yeah, but did you get any of it in frame? You kind of see it splash up in Jaime's face a little. Oh, Linda! I told you, I wanted a wide close-up that shows off our super cool bloody arm gag and Jaime's face acting, not just an extreme shot of Jaime's face acting. I was in the moment. I have to be allowed to express my artistic instincts with the camera, too. I like Chris's personality just because she's like There's no so. such thing as a wide close up. <laughs> or an extreme shot. Or face acting. It's just acting. Does anyone even care that I'm the director? <laughs> okay. All right. So I went with uh, Chris. I trust Linda's judgment. Now, this does. This does affect the relationship. This does make the relationship between Jaime and Chris go down while it increases with Linda and Jaime. But it's what I went with. So if I'm sticking with making the choices that I made leading up to the second half of this episode, uh, I got to go with Chris. I trust Linda's judgment because there is an achievement actually to get Jaime and Chris's relationship up to the max. Um, but I'm not actually going for that. I'm just going for what I think is right. So I'm going to go with Chris. I trust Linda's judgment because everybody should have a creative say. Of course, Chris, you're the director. But like part of the job is working with people you trust and... I trust Linda's judgment on the camera stuff, you know? Let's just shoot both versions and then we can see which way works better in the edit. And it'll be my way. Yeah, see? Because I'm the director. Chris is annoyed you sided with Linda. Hold still, let me clean you off. And we'll get it on this one. Watch how it all just disappears. If we don't, you can just make it up to me in my trailer after the shoot. Ugh. Oh, it's like spearmint cough syrup. <laughs> yeah, all my gagging was kind of real. Mm, worth it. You guys want me to leave? All right, all right. On your feet, people. Everybody back to one. We're going again. We are going again. 
Okay, sound speeds? Um, uh, camera speeds. All right, everybody settle. And hold. And hold. And action. Uh, uh. <laughs> Fuck! No! Oh, the camera! Oh, good. no! think you're doing in here? Ah! Oh, hi, Mr. Green. Sam! Sheriff. Sheriff. Right. Sorry. How many times have I told you to stay away from this place? We were just in the middle of a take. A take? For our film production. You can't shoot a movie in here. But this is where the big climax happens. This is a condemned steel mill, Mr. Rivera. And you are trespassing. Now, unless you want to spend the night locked up in jail, I suggest you, Miss Castle, and Miss... Dixie. Miss Tammy D. Dixie. <laughs> Miss Gordon. Miss Christine Gordon. I suggest you immediately vacate the premises, and you do not, under any circumstances, sit one foot back here in the Cedar Still Mill. Ever. So I went with apologetic just because, you know, it's like, just just go with it. Right. Because my my thought process was we're going to end up coming back here anyways. It's literally a part of the storyline for them to come back and continue filming the movie. We see in the future that they ended up finishing the movie. So you might as well just apologize and reap the consequences of your actions later. Oh, man, sir, we're really sorry. We, we didn't realize we were doing anything wrong. We'll clear out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hi, May. We've got a movie to finish. I know, but we have to do what the sheriff says. He's the sheriff. I don't care who he is. He can And we're very happy to do whatever the sheriff asks. And, uh, don't forget to clean up. What are we supposed to do with a busted camera? I guess that's it then. I went with I guess that's it then. Because, again, no point in starting anything that we have no point in finishing. Without a working camera or a location, I guess that's it then, huh? The camera just needs to be fixed. Sam appreciated your apologetic the tone. Hell crawled up his ass. Nah, he's not so bad. Usually. We're not gonna do what he says, right? Really? We can figure out how to finish the movie when we get back to the garage. Now, one thing that I want to point out is I have a theory that Maddie is related to Christine. And that's because in the car when she was with Linda, she said one of her moms is from Oregon. So either Christine is bi and she ends up with somebody else after something happens between her and Jaime or uh Jaime if they do end up having Chris or Maddie together I don't know I I have a theory now don't you try and pull any fast ones on me I'll be watching yes sir I just I have a theory that Maddie is related to Christine because how else would she have the little film piece right how else would she have the piece of the movie if she has nothing to do with these people it makes sense that Linda has it because she's the one who was part of also look at that keep him hooked before it said Laura Men and now it says keep him hooked attention to detail you know what I'm saying um ah uh, there's just so much so I don't know I she's got to be related to this whole situation somehow and I don't think that Linda knew anything about you know either Jaime or Chris having kids so that's probably why she didn't recognize maddie at first i don't again just a theory but this game does take place in cedar hills oregon so i she said one of her moms was from oregon that's not a detail that's just thrown in there that's gotta mean something oh, what a complete and 
Don't be so dramatic. It's not like we've got a real deadline. Ugh, who needs a real deadline when every wasted second brings you closer and closer to your ultimate cosmic eternal deadline? So dramatic. Gunk. So dramatic. I like it. Hey, what are these? Oh, I got those for us all to wear when we shoot. Surprise. Wait, you guys are both acting. So it'll just be me? So you'll be like our ambassador. <laughs> yeah, not a chance. Hmm. Oh, whoa, 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 don't open that up. I still haven't taken the film out yet. I thought it was broken. Well, yeah, the lens is cracked, but the footage is still good. Unless, you know, you open it. Ugh, whatever. We got some good stuff today. Glass half full. Dude, just let me be upset. Why would you want to be is my question. Doesn't Sheriff Green have anything better to do with his time? Like, go after actual criminals and shit? Cedar Hill is not exactly a noted hotbed of criminal activity. That's not entirely true. There was that whole serial killer thing. Hold up, what now? When was this? Uh, I was just a baby. I don't really know anything about it. Oh, you're still just a baby. <laughs> you still don't know anything. Now, be a good little baby and tell me all about this whole serial killer business. I know some stuff. Spill it, lady. For starters, I think that's why Sheriff Green doesn't want us to go in the steel mill. Oh yeah, that's where it all went down. So you do know stuff. <gasps> and you held back, you traitor. Yeah, because I knew you'd get all like this. The voice well, actress yeah, is fantastic for Christine. Tell me about the steel mill killer. She makes the personality well, that's where it pop. All ended. But before that, there was a whole string of disappearances. Kidnappings, really. Murders. So what was this guy's name? Maybe we should write him into the movie. Oh, um, I don't know if we... Frank Stone. Huh. So Frank Stone was actually killing people in the steel mill? Like, our steel mill? Where we were just shooting like an hour ago? That's the theory. Frank was working at the mill, but I think it was on its last legs by then. Probably not a lot of people around. They shut it down right after. Who are the victims? What do you think he was up to? I think I asked about the victims. Who are the victims? Just people. Some from the town. Some were never identified. The killings were random. There was no pattern. Like, how many are we talking? No one knows for sure. Because they never found the bodies. They found parts. Do you know what this means? Why withhold all this until now? Do you know what this means? We can make our movie more exciting. That way you need a new location. <coughs> no, dummy, that we already have the best location. How do you? Think about it. Our movie shot in a real life murder mill? You can't buy that kind of publicity buster. Oh. People are actually gonna wanna see this thing. We're gonna be like totally famous. Okay, sure. We might get some butts in seats, but like, what if they don't like what they see? Then we just gotta make sure these last couple of scenes are gonna blow the top of their heads off. Ah, uh, fuck, but not if our fucking camera is fucking broken. Ugh. Hey, she's such a good voice actor. Let's drugstore and see if we can get it fixed. So, I love Chris as a character. Yeah, the thing is, I kind of spent the rest of the budget on the t shirts. <laughs> Unless you know of anybody looking to get into film finance. Kind of shit out of luck. What? Uh, um. You want a piece of me too? Hey. Hey, that's all you. Uh, and then I went with the hey, you okay? Because she is definitely not in the mood for a howdy partner. And this is also where the second half of the video picks up. So after I make this choice, uh, it'll be past Chris. I love you guys. Future Chris out. Hey, you okay? Hey, you okay? What's up? Nothing. It's fine. Mm, didn't sound fine. As soon as mom got sick, I dropped everything in my whole life in New York to come home and help. And all he does is act like I'm not doing enough. It's like he doesn't even care what I had to give up. I'm sure he's just worried about mom. Yeah, so am I. That's why I'm here. The least he could do is try not to ground me like I'm 16. Totally. What is he thinking, right? Sorry, I guess I just needed to blow off some steam. I get it. 
The last thing mom needs is for us to be screaming at each other. It's true. Yeah, and you've been doing an incredible job. I mean it. I, I don't know what we'd do without you. Uh-oh. What? What? Linda, where's the Jaime bell? <laughs> ring, ring. What's the Jaime bell? My darling brother has the tendency to uh, lay it on a little thick whenever he's about to ask for a favor. No, I'm just speaking from the heart. Okay. What do you need from me? Um, well, we're making this movie, and we're so close to finishing, but we just need a little extra bit of money. Of course you do. What else is new? What Jaime's trying to say is our camera got busted today, and we need a few bucks to get it fixed. Ouch. Unless you know how to fix it. How much do you need? Ooh, uh, just 10 bucks or 20 bucks would cover it. Uh, let's be casual. Maybe she'll offer more. Or maybe somebody will suggest more. Just like 10 bucks? So, let's say hypothetically, I help you out. What do I get out of this? You gonna make me a producer or something? <laughs> sure. Of course. Associate producer, Bonnie Rivera. Associate producer is a bullshit favor credit. Linda! <laughs> okay, yeah, I don't really give a shit about having a credit on your movie. So, maybe if you actually have something real to offer? How about I don't tell Dad you can borrow my van? You can, you can borrow the van. No need to bribe her. I feel like she's being very, uh, she's working with us. So, I mean, it's like doing the whole cynical bribe thing. Just borrow my van. Uh, all right. All right, fine. You can borrow my van all week. <laughs> what? Dude, I wouldn't be caught dead in that thing. Vans are cool. Everybody wants to drive a van. No, try again. If I may offer a suggestion, Jaime, why don't you take over some of Bonnie's chores? Uh... Mmm, enticing. Oh, man. All right. All of my chores, no complaints. Whatever. A deal's a deal. Then I think we got a deal. Wise decision. Don't try and weasel out of it, either. Pleasure doing business with you. Pleasure's all mine. Bonnie gave you the money to fix the camera. Cool. You all right there? You're looking a little uh, wiggly. I'm fine. It's just, uh, what is in that fake blood? I think it's just mint flavored real blood. Oh, <laughs> it did say to avoid any prolonged skin contact. You washed it all off like right away, right? Uh, you don't think it's like actually poisonous, do you? Very poisonous. It's a movie, Jaime. Anyone could go. <laughs> Time. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully there's enough time to fix the camera before they close tonight. I'm not sure the drugstore clerk will even know how to fix it. Hey, think positive. It's not like there's anywhere else in town we could take it. There's no point standing what? out here if we're in a time crunch. I thought that place was condemned. Guess they got a new tenant. Do curiosity shops even repair cameras? There was a place like that near my grandfather's house. The owner used to tinker with all sorts of old junk. You never know. I bet they have some rad old junk, too. Your call, Chris. Drugstore or curiosity shop? Uh, damn. Well, the drugstore was the original plan, but I think the curiosity shop is going to get us more like more interesting story based dialogue. So we're going to go curiosity shop. I certainly am curious regarding said shop. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> okay. Lead the way. I get it too. You chose to try the curiosity shop first. Man, if I didn't know any better, I'd say this place looks like it's been here forever. And a half. Maybe you should write it in. Don't tempt me. What if the owner is a... Uh, deranged serial killer who collects wayward teenagers and turns them into antiques then we hit the jackpot check out the wares oh cameras uh these look like they've seen better days 
I'm not gonna put the best ones in the window. I gotta look inside. Well, yeah, they're definitely gonna uh, know how to fix our camera then. Bad. So much for that. Shit! We can still out at the drugstore before it closes. And what is it you're looking for? Oh, hi. Hello. Hello. We saw the cameras. We're trying to find a replacement for this. Of course you are. Please. Come on inside. Mmm. Okay, if it fixes our camera, I guess. Now, let me see. I think I have something that may interest you if I can find it out back. Please make yourselves at home. Okay. Not too comfy, and of course. Be sure to have a look around. You never know what treasures you might find. Hey, I'm in search of some treasures. I call them relics you and antiques. At home? Here? I don't know. I think it's kind of cozy. In a failed capitalist state kind of way. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, well, I found the Huntress's mask. Where did I oh, the... cute bunny. How is this place yeah, she's not a very cute bunny, let me tell you that. Nice. I'm looking out for the cues. I'm looking out for the ball. Did I miss an opportunity? Oh no. Cause there was a box in the mansion. Did I miss an opportunity to collect one of the one of the little pieces? Cause I think there's one at every level that oh no. Whoever owned this place before had some lousy luck. Dear Mr. Olson, this letter will serve to confirm the agreement regarding the sale of Ned's nutty Ned knacks. <laughs> All relevant legal paperwork has been signed and you should receive payment by month's end. My client also wanted to extend their sympathies to your recent hardships. If there is any lesson to be drawn from this, it's that fire, theft, and casualties are not things that only happen to other people. Hopefully moving on from Cedar Hills will give you some distance from the bereavement after all time is after all time is a great healer, or after all, time is a great healer, and perhaps one day you'll find yourself able to adopt another cat. <gasps> Oh no. Wait, 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 wait. Pick that back up. There might have been something on the back. Nothing on the back. Alright. The store recently passed into the hands of a new owner. Okay. You find anything? Let's say hypothetically she does find a camera for us back there. What's the next move? We got everything we need to finish this sucker. Well, except the mill. Sheriff Green's gonna have his eyes glued to the front gates. No way we can get back in again. Hmm. Hmm. Chat. Oh, there's gotta be another way into the mill. We have to finish. We have to. Alright. That was the end of that dialogue, I guess. Surely there's something that can help us amongst all this junk. Probably nothing here, though. Wait. No, I was just looking at these scratches right here. I don't know what that is, but it looks painful. Oh my god. Why do you why do you own this? I'm pretty sure this is one of the one of the killer's weapons from the game, but that doesn't look familiar to me. I'm not gonna know every single Dead by Daylight reference. Oh, it's a smiley face. Ma'am, can I have this? How much do you want for the pin? I will gladly take that off your hands. Who would want to watch this creep fest? Maybe if I sit and watch it for a while, something will happen. <laughs> Film reel. Why'd the music start kicking up like that? Ah, the I trapper. Cuddling up to that at night. This is your iconic uh, Dead by Daylight villain. Uh, still not finding any. My objective is to talk to Linda, so I feel if I talk to her, that'll make some progress. So I'm gonna go through this door here. Never mind, I'm not going through the door here. 
Oh, I'm gonna be so pissed if I miss anything. But I think I've checked the whole store. Open? Damn. Um, alright. No trinkets. Damn it. She comes running out straight at us with a giant chainsaw. I'm gonna be like, so bummed out. You're in luck. Aw, oh, man, no a chainsaw. Fine item indeed. Yes. Whoa. But may I? I insist. It's pretty old. Possible we could make it work, but it's not exactly what we had in mind. Hey, just be grateful. Mm -hmm. Just be grateful. Uh, how much are you asking for it? Oh, there's a tiny little price tag on it, but I seem to have forgotten my reading glasses. Why don't you take a look? Oh, wow. How the ironic. Box. Exactly what we've got. That seems reasonable. It feels a little high. It's a camera. Ten dollars is nothing. I mean, this is the 1980s, though. So, like, I mean, it's all we've got. That seems reasonable. Okay. Sure. I think that seems reasonable for something like this. You accepted the storekeeper's price. Thank you very much. Thanks for finding us a camera. Oh. It was no trouble at all. It truly is such a joy to see young people so passionate about the arts. Yeah. Yep, that's us. Did we get the film out of that camera, though? Wait, guys. Oh, I'm such a moron. I, I told my mom I'd pick up some milk on the way home. Oh, do you want me to... Hold this. Be right back. Wait, Chris. We just spent all the money. Emergency sock quarter. <laughs> Emergency sock quarter? <laughs> Emergency sock quarter? All right. Oh, ooh. Whoa! Oh! Yeah! Yeah, buddy! Yeah! I didn't miss one. Water Waterlogged shoe. Four names, four trials. She tell not to rush. Hell yeah! I was worried I'd miss one. Best First left movies? buried. Really? Best left buried. The, the dark Tuesday. mythology of the lost movie by Joe Blue. The there are those films that have been lost over time, which in their absence have developed an aura of mystery. These lost movies have fascinated film historians and conspiracy theorists alike. Not because they wish to marvel at the performances of the actors or, or craft of the director, but because they believe through whatever remnants of the footage they can cobble together, they may gain a glimpse into a dark reality realized only by the camera. Most associated with the production have, distan have distanced themselves from the rumors around Dean's disappearance, the most persistent of which is that in the surviving footage of any scene involving Dean, one never fails to observe a strange rolling fog in the desert in the desert background. Perhaps there really uh, was something lurking in the desert, waiting for its moment to come forth and claim the film's star for its own twisted machinations. Cool. Wait, hold on. R Green. Who the hell is R Green? Because there's a Sam Green. Does Sam Green have any relation to R Green? Am I looking too deep into this? I might be. But you know what? That's kind of what you need to do in these kind of games. There is a long lineage of lost movies resulting in dark myths. One B seven A B forty four. I feel like that can't be there for no <laughs> for nothing. Demolition scheduled this year. Lightbringer wow. Est Lightbringer Estates, Cedar Hills. The last record of the mill. Cedar Hills renewal enters new phase. Move fast to secure your place today. Lightbringer Estates has announced the new stage and the transformation of Cedar Hills, with new homes planned on the land around the site of former Cedar Mil Cedar Steel Mill. 
Exploratory visits to the old Cedar Steel site by Lightbringer's expert teams of engineers and architects have already commenced ahead of demolition scheduled for late this year and construction beginning in early 81. Cool. Okay. QU06 White. Should I be... I feel like I should be taking pictures of this stuff. This all seems a little too interesting for me to not take a picture of. Ooh, I'm behind your counter, dude. What are you going to do? Whoa. Oh! Oh, shit. Wait, I'm, I'm hitting space. This game is so slow. Oh, my God. I can't hold space either. Well, I'm not going to get the high score. That's for sure. Ooh, got it. One more, one more. Let's get it. One more. No, one more. Woo! Ah, shit. Level two. Why am I actually spending time on this? Okay. I got one more life. If I die. If I die. I don't plan on it. But if I die, then uh, then we'll get back to the story. <laughs> no! What was the high score? I'm pretty sure there's an achievement for getting the high score in this game. Oh, 50-20? I could have had that. Ah, uh, That's me. 31-20 was mine. Do I dare? No, 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 no. I'm not a completionist. I'm not a completionist. Shit. Oh, I'm gonna feel bad about that. I'm gonna ah, damn it! Oh, oh. hey, Chris. Robert, well, wait! I thought you worked at the oh, library. Oh, Robert Green. That's Sam's brother. How would you know? Don't think I ever saw you come in. I got spies everywhere, man. So, Linda. Busted. <laughs> <laughs> you can always come in yourself, you know. Books don't bite. Uh, Linda's the bookworm. I'm more of a movie worm. Mm, I don't think that's a real kind of worm. Neither's a bookworm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so we're about to close in like gotta, two minutes. I gotta so. think for each other. Oh, right. Yeah, I need to get some milk, but couldn't find any. I got you. I also didn't really look. <laughs> I completely forgot the whole reason I was in here for. One milk. One milk. <laughs> Thanks. No sweat. All right, that'll be 25 cents. Okay. Emergency shoe quarter. Yeah, you sure don't see coin like this working in the library. Actually, you don't see any coin. <laughs> it's volunteer hours. Not so bad if you like to read, I guess. Mm, true. We've got a rad horror section, too. I didn't know you were a horror guy. Just books? Movies, comics too. Whatever I can get my hands on. You know, Jaime and Linda and I are all making a horror movie. Down at the old Cedar Steel Mill. No kidding. We could always use an extra hand oh. if you're into that kind of thing. Uh, super into it. But... My brother works at the mill. Does my dad know you're going into the mill? Oh, dad. He watches that place. Like oh. Uh, yeah, we had a little run-in with him today, but we're going to sneak back uh -oh. in and shoot the uh -oh. rest. Uh-oh, uh-oh, shh, hey, shush, shush. Man. Shush, there's somebody behind you. It might be him. I would love to be involved. Involved in what? Uh, hey, dad. Yeah, uh, Chris was just telling me about a, um, a... We're putting together a fundraiser. To show movies. At the library. There's no way he didn't hear that initial conversation when he first walked in. Okay. You need a ride home? Oh, yeah. Uh, let me just get my bag. I should have guessed that it was his dad, but I thought brother first. Sam doesn't look that old. But you know what they say. You know, black don't crack. Chris. I'm sorry I was a little harsh with you and your friends before. I just wanted to make sure you're taking me seriously. They told me about Frank Stone. We're still going to finish our movie. Uh, neither of these 
provocative, defiant. Neither of these sound like a good idea to say. If we tell him that we're still going to finish our movie, he's going to have some kind of idea that we're going to be at the mill. I'm pretty sure he's going to get involved somehow, but I think telling him that he, she, she knows about Frank Stone is like the evasive way. I get it. They told me about Frank Stone. Got to be a lot of demons in a place like that. You spend enough time in my line of work, you realize every place has got its demons. You ready? Take care. Aye, aye, Captain. Hey, hey, hey. I can get you back into the mill without him knowing. Just say the word. Let's the, make a movie. The N word. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't funny. I'm so sorry. <laughs> that wasn't funny. I have worn many masks over the centuries. Dr. Augustine Leeper was renowned, professional, and trusted. Frank Stone confided in me, allowed me to unlock his potential during those dark days in the psychiatric ward. And now, a new guise, a new timeline. A new chance. Giving them the camera, I admit, was unfair. Even that was to me. Augustine. They couldn't know what power they held in their hands, nor what cruelty awaits them in the steel mill. Wait. But what true creator wouldn't suffer for their art? Is Augustine like a shapeshifter? Cause she looks about old as shit in the in the uh, curiosity shop, but then she looks pretty young in present day. These walls have eyes. Damn, that was also kind of a short chapter too. I'm playing as Linda now. Are you okay? You good? Are you, you straight? Okay? Uh, yeah. You dandy? Guess I just dozed off a bit. Wait. Maddie falling asleep what concerns you. To Augustine again? She left. L left. She said she had to do something very urgently in her private reliquary. Hey, now that we're all awake again, can we forget about Augustine for a minute and talk about the a thousand foot long elephant in the room? Thousand oh. <laughs> Feet is the average length of film in a movie. Uh, Alright, nerd. Fucking nerd. I'm playing it close to the best before. Huh. It's not my film. I, I didn't I just worked on it. Didn't direct it. It's not even on my official filmography. I meant how we were all holding back about our film strips. Oh. Right. Whether you take credit for it or not, it's definitely the most infamous project that's uh, associated with you. Cursed film collectors have been unsuccessfully searching for any trace of it for years. And now we are all here, each with our own little slice of a mysterious pie. It's a pretty big deal. So all of our film strips, they're part of this movie you and your friends made, Linda? If they're not fakes, yeah. Mine's not fake. And all that stuff you said about it being cursed? Murderous rages, CIA interrogation, total disassociation with reality. Because it's so rare, only a few people know for sure. So they say. If Augustine wants the only known surviving pieces of it, <laughs> she's gonna have to pay up. Why do you think she wants it so bad? I mean, it's not really cursed, right? I prefer not to dwell on the past. We're here, someone's offering to buy our sections of the film. That is all I'm concerned with right now. Providence goes a long way towards a successful sale. So do motives. I don't know about you, but I would very much like to know why Augustine is so desperate to get her hands on this film. Well, first rule of business is to gather every bit of intel you can on your opponent. 
I don't know about you two ladies, but I have been itching to get a little look-see around this big old house of curiosities. <laughs> Are we allowed to look around? What do you say, Director? Want to keep sitting around, or want to peek behind the curtain? <laughs> uh, what are you waiting for? I'm good. What are you waiting for? It's the most interesting option. Linda seems like the adventurous type from what we saw in her in her past. She seems cautious what but adventurous. Oh, <laughs> well, now this is a real bold statement kind of room. You know what I mean? Holy shit. New Augustine got cash, but not like this kind of cash. Sounds like you didn't scout your mark as well as you thought. In business, we don't call them marks. Hustling is a rocket, not a business. I wouldn't underestimate my scouting skills if I were you. A lot rattling around up here that could be mutually beneficial. Tell me about Augustine. How do you know about Murder Mill? Well, he already said he was a fan. So I feel like, you know, if you are a true fan of somebody, especially like a celebrity or a director or a filmmaker, you're going to know the details that not a lot of people are going to know, like on a surface level of, you know, fandom. Tell me about Augustine. Okay. Then tell me everything you know about Augustine. <laughs> Augustine Lieber. A lead collector of obscure cultural artifacts. She pretends to be all business, but plays a long game with the cards close to the vest. She's hard to pin down. And? Ever since I arrived, I've kept my eye on things. Observations, behavior, decor. I've been building a profile. Which is? Lieber is no ordinary collector. She likes the dark stuff. The really dark stuff. She'll stop at nothing to get it. Very impressive. Okay. Now it's your turn. My turn for what? Told you what I know, and now you go. I think you pretty much covered it. Hey, uh, just catching up. It's really dark in here. So, what have you guys found? Not much. But the night's young. Not as young as you think. Let's keep looking around. All right. All right. Well, of course. Deny this place would make an incredible film location. Shush. All right. This is where we're going to end it off here. I wanted to keep I going. Love but... your outfit, by the way. Well, thanks. It's Italian. Well, the shoes are Italian. And a belt. I got a cheat from a guy. He's got a guy who's got a pants guy. So I got these pants from his guy's guy. Had them tailored just right by the other guy I know who also got me the blazer, which is like a super limited VIP club edition. <laughs> but you want to know a secret? Sure. I found the turtleneck in a secondhand shop. Scandalous. Right? <laughs> Don't tell anyone. Oh, you can be sure of that. Anyways, I wanted to keep going, but I feel like I've already been recording a little too long. Plus, I, I'm a little busy moving forward after recording this. So, I'm going to end it off here. We got through two chapters, and I feel like depending on how short and how long each chapter is going to be, we may get through two chapters every video. I don't know. There's about 14 in the game. So, who knows how long the series is going to be. Anyways, if you enjoy the video, you already know there's a like button down there. Definitely hit it. If you want to see the last video of the casting of Frank Stone, I'll have that link somewhere around here. And then I'll have YouTube recommend whatever you watch next after that. Also link somewhere around here. I'm going to get out of here. I love you guys. Stay safe out there. Take it easy. And big buddy out. And Augustine Lieber, I will find out your secrets. Trust and believe.